welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Now there's a lot to talk about. If you want to just jump ahead five minutes to watch the puzzle solve, do so. Uh, but we have got, we've been streaming yesterday the first episode of our attempt at the return of the Obra Din, which, well, to say it wasn't what I was expecting would be an understatement. It was um, really surprisingly uh, gory and shocking. I mean, all in black and white, all sort of animated stills, but um, it was surprising. And we, we got one or two comments on how not peace of mind it was. Um, now, we do encourage you to let us know if you'd like us to continue with that, to go back to Baba Is You, perhaps alternatively, um, which we will do at some point anyway. But it, it would be a shame in some ways to lose the, the knowledge we have gained of uh, the Obradin. But I don't know, we're, we're a little torn about what to do with that. Now, Simon is also in two minds. He's apparently had a go at a puzzle by Zetamath called Two Truths and a Lie. And, well, Simon says it's one of the absolute best puzzles we've ever seen, and or he's ever seen. And when Simon says that, well, it doesn't necessarily mean all that much, you might think, because so many videos are titled something like that. But to be fair, they're always true. And this one apparently is very good indeed. And the problem with it is it has 10 sets of rules um, in which these two truths and a lie apply. And that makes for a very long rule set, a very long explanation. Um, we do try and keep the videos on the channel available to people who come new to the game so they can, they can sort of learn along with us. That is very much one of the cruxes that we operate with. And uh, I don't know, I think we may put it on Patreon, but we're, we're interested in what you think about that as well. So do let us know. Um, now, what else? It's Halloween tomorrow. Halloween is October the 31st. And that means that the day after is the beginning of a new month and there'll be a new patron reward, which will be um, the Paint by Numbers Institute's uh, educational puzzle pack based on Japanese sums, puzzles and pictures. We are really looking forward to bringing that to you. It's by Panthera and the Asylum. There are some taster puzzles free up on Patreon already, but the, the paying patrons will get a go at the puzzle pack and uh, I'm sure there'll be a prize for correct solution at the end of it. But also, um, well, I expect we'll have to do some sort of solution video. I'm not sure we'll do all 45 or whatever it is puzzles, but we'll see. Anyway, that's all in the future. Um, what else have we got going on? So much stuff, actually. Um, there are plenty of other things on Patreon to entertain you at the moment, so it really is worth considering a subscription or, or resubscribing for the month, um, if that's appropriate. And there's all our apps, and they're all on the links under the video. There are Sven Sudoku Pad. Oh yes, I was going to mention, somebody complained about my having been using some tiny URL um, URLs for the puzzles lately, and I had thought that although I know that some softwares say, are you sure, and you have to click another button, that that wasn't too bad. But somebody pointed out that their work doesn't allow them to get into the puzzle, and that spoils the experience for them. Well, I'm going to make no comment about doing puzzles at work. That's entirely up to you. But I do understand now why that is a potential problem, and I admit that it has been happening on my videos a bit because... When somebody has sent through a version of the puzzle in F puzzles using rules as we would explain them, we can convert that using Sven's wonderful bookmarklet into our software. Um, that comes up with a very long URL, which I had been condensing using tiny URL. Now, that has saved me the effort on several occasions of putting the puzzle into our software. But if that doesn't work for people, okay, I will go back to spending that five or ten minutes risking the errors that that might bring in um, and trying it that way. So starting today, we, we have a proper um, app.crackingthecryptic.com uh, URL for this puzzle, which is called Icto and Sigta, I think, by Score. I don't know what that title means. I'm. It looks like it means something, but not in a language I know. Is it? 8 and 60? 60, 68, maybe? I don't know. I don't know what it is. 8 and 6. Might be a hint. 
you've got some even squits. Anyway, I don't know. Um, but thank you very much, Score, for sending it and obeying all our strictures in the community post about how to send us puzzles. That's worth looking at if you are thinking of sending puzzles in. Uh, and using rules in wording that we approve. So, normal Sudoku rules apply. Digits along the marked diagonal, the blue one, must not repeat. Oh, not a bad effort. Uh, cells separated by a white dot have a difference of one. Cells separated by a black dot have a one to two ratio. Not all dots are given. Gray squares are even numbers. And uh, that's the rules. It strikes me. I mean, I've done a number of crop key puzzles. That's what the white and black dot stuff is. And it just feels like there isn't enough information here with no negative constraints. So, well, we'll see how that works out. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm surprised, but, but do give it a try on the link under the video. I'm going to start now. Let's get cracking. And... Do the even digits help? How do they help? These are little runs of three. Okay, these are runs of three. Right, let's odd even parity mark it. So let's start by marking all the even cells we know about blue. Now, any white dot is connecting an even and an odd cell. So we can mark up the cells connected to by blue cells as orange. Then we get another couple of blues. Now we've got four blues in column one, and there are only four even numbers in a Sudoku, two, four, six, and eight. So these others are odd. Okay, box seven, those two are even, and they're on the diagonal. Now what does that mean? There are two more even cells on this diagonal because there's got to be four blues in this box and it's only got two so far. So two more even cells there. The diagonal is a set of the one of the digits one to nine. So these middle three must all be odd. Um, right, there's more here. In this central box, there've, there will only be five odd digits. Each of these white dots must have one orange and one blue. They must have one odd and one even number. So that's going to use up all five orange. These two are blue. The ones they connect to are orange. And that is quite a lot of the grid colored by... God, we don't have four blues in the final column. Now the black dots, they don't have the same orange and blue ratio. What, what they have about them, because of the one to two ratio, sorry, they don't have the same orange and blue relationship. Because of the one to two ratio, at least one of the cells connected must be even, but they could both be even. I don't know what that means. This one will be two of one in those positions and one of the other. Hmm. I've kind of run out of steam here. And I mean, I haven't got anywhere near a number yet. Okay, let's think about the numbers then. If we can. That, for instance, can't be one or nine because it's in the middle of a run of three. That must be, if, one, if that's higher, that's going to have to be lower because it can't be the same. So that is three, five or seven. really not very interesting. Okay, there's a relationship between these two, which are, which are on white dots. So the relationship is that they can't be next to each other as even numbers. They can't be consecutive even numbers like two and four. And that's because if this is two, we put one and three beside it, then this can't be four because that needs three and five beside it and that would put two threes in the box. So these have to be two, two even digits apart at least. And they, oh right, yes, right, okay. I can see a relation here between box seven and box three. So if those were two and eight, which sounds possible in theory based on what we just established, then we'd have four and six here. 
then this line is going to have 2 and 8 on it, and these have to be 4 and 6, and that's impossible because they both need a 5 in one of the connecting odd cells. So, so these are four numbers apart. They're either 2, 6 or a 4, 8 pair. Then these two will be the other numbers. So if those are 2, 6, those are 4, 8. Then 2, 6 appear here and those are 4, 8. So these four will always be one set of the digits 2, 4, 6 and 8, which is weird. But it is right. Um, so if this is 2 and 6, then these numbers are 1, 3, 5 and 7, and that will be 9. If this is 4 and 8, these numbers are 3, 5, 7 and 9, and that will be 1. So that is an extreme number either way. I don't know if that helps anything. Oh, may, yes, look, it's going to be the same up here, actually. If this is 2, 6, those are 1, 3, 5 and 7. And the odd number on this in this set is 9. I don't know where it appears, but there is one odd number there and it would be 9. And the same must apply if that's 4 and 8. Then you're using up 3, 5, 7, 9 in those and 1 is there. So 1 and 9 form a pair, a virtual pair with row 9, column 1. And these three are 3, 5 and 7, which is a really, really surprising find in this puzzle. And I, I do not know what it means. Let me, let me have another think now. Can... Right, if these, these must contain an even digit, does it have to be here or can it be here? If this was an even digit, that would make all of these other cells in the row odd, but I don't know what that does. This is... These are 2 and 4, or 4 and 6, or 6 and 8. That just isn't helpful at all. Um, I don't know, something in the middle square. Come on, help me out. What, what am I not seeing? Oh, right, yes. 1 and 9 are in these dominoes, because 3, 5 and 7 aren't. That's what I'm not seeing. Right, so one of them is a 1, 2 pair, and one of them is an 8, 9 pair. Now, 9 can never be on the black dot. So eight's not there. One, no, I was going to say one or two could be on the black dot, but one can't be in an Oreo sandwich with a black and a white because it would need two on both sides. So that can't be one. And now we must have reduced to, oops, to pairs, which we can colour. Now, unfortunately, we don't know what colour these are. Oh, wait, we do. That's beautiful. This either goes 1, 2, and then that must be a 4, or it goes 9, 8, and that must be a 4. Oh, fantastic. Right, so those are 4s. And those are now orange, because we've had the 4 blues in the row. It doesn't work up here. I've been wondering for a little while how the symmetry is ever broken on this puzzle. But I think I've actually... I think... In fact, we've got to the point of just breaking it. And it's all because all of these white... If you rotate the puzzle the puzzle 180 degrees, all the markings are exactly the same apart from this even number cell up here, which is really peculiar. Anyway, sorry, enough digression. These can't be four. So the ones opposite them can't be eight. Four is in one of these two cells. In fact, they are four and six. Sorry, I've only just noticed that. So these are, ooh. Oh, I've just marked them as both orange. No, this one has to be orange. But on one of these, there's a four, and this is gonna be two or eight, and is not orange, so it's blue. Ah, 
So that must be the four, I think. That must be right. Let me just check that. Yes, in this row, that four is the fourth blue cell. So this has to be orange, and now it has to be three, and that's a six. Wow, and we've got some digits. I mean, 10 minutes into the solving, and I'm very pleased to get some digits. I almost think I've done some really good stuff here, but I don't know. I think the, the compiler has done the really good stuff, of course. Um, now those are also two, six, or eight, right. Ah, right, these are going to lead, that's also two, six, or eight. Now what I'm thinking about now is what these lead to in the middle. This either goes two, three, four, or six, five, four, oh, it could go eight, seven, six, and eight, seven, oh, and six, seven, eight. No, that wasn't quite as helpful as I thought. Um, oh, hang on, three, four have been used. What can this set be? It can't be using one or two or three or four now, because it's a run of three digits. So it definitely uses a seven. It's either five, six, seven, six, seven, eight, or seven, eight, nine. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Do I know it can't have two even digits? Don't think so. Okay, here's a thing. The fours in this set. No, they are a set of four different digits. We worked that out. The four in them is in one of those two cells. Now, I don't think that is telling me much, except that those two cells can't have fours in, which probably isn't very helpful. That means the eight is in, of course, ah, now the eight is in one of these two cells as a corollary to the four being in one of those two. So the eight must be in one of those two. Now they are both seeing these cells, so they can't be eight. That is something. Doesn't stop this being seven annoyingly, but, but now these two cells are limited, are they? They can't be a six anymore. They must be four or eight, and that's a pair. And it feels like a good pair, and if only because it's so hard won. Um, oh, I don't know what to do with it, though. Oh, one of them, okay, one of them is an eight, but one of these is an eight. So wherever this, this has an eight, it goes with, say that was an eight, it must go with a four there, that gives us two six pair, and it's even less constrained over here because we don't know where the other even cell is. Oh, this is always one of the pairs of four eight or two six. So this is either two six or four. That can't be an eight. So one of those had to be an eight. That would be an that would have been another way of ruling eight out of that cell that I hadn't thought of. Oh, we've got the four evens in this row now. Since we got that, I oh, didn't see that. Ding bat. Right, this is the one that is one or nine on the diagonal. These two are even. Oh, well, that's good. Now we've got all the evens in the final column. Um, oh, and it's different from the other one. So, oh, I don't know anything about these two set. Well, I know they're four apart, but I don't know any more than that about them. I really thought when we started getting digits, this was going to start giving us stuff, but it stopped in a hurry, slammed the brakes on. This set. Oh, okay. What about this set? I 
don't know, it could be one, two, three, although that feels unlikely. But if not, then again, it has a seven in it. It's five, six, seven, six, seven, eight, or seven, eight, nine. So the central cell of it is either two, six, seven, or eight. And the central cell of this one is either six, seven, or eight. Wow, I'm not seeing what to do next. Um, I mean, it feels like a very tightly pathed puzzle, so we're going to have to figure it out. OK, up here, one of those is blue because it's a white dot and they always have to have one blue and one orange. So that means one of these two is blue and one is orange. If this was two oranges surrounding a blue, this would have to be blue. Then these two would be orange, that would be blue. That nah, doesn't really finish anything off, does it? Do these have to be the same, and does anybody... No, these two are different, obviously. They're in the same box. Um, I don't think that relates to what that is. OK, they're different. I don't know. Let's have a think about... Let's have a think about which one of these is an 8. So whichever one, so let's say it was this that is an 8. It has a 4 here. It also has a 4 here. Then other places where there's a 4 are where I'm highlighting, obviously, all those. This is based on that being an 8. But I can take that out while I highlight the 4s. That can't be a 4. Ah, in the final column, that would have to be a 4. So that's not. Ah, oh, it's, it's interesting. It's interesting because if that's an 8, 4 there, 8 there, and 4 there, then this becomes a 2-6 pair. Oh, maybe this follows through in some way. If that's 8... Oh, come on. We've got... Then we get fours in these positions. And there. Does that mean... Okay, then that's started as an eight. That makes this an eight, because they have a difference of four. Then the only place for an 8 in box 1 is there, and that becomes 8. That feels like it's something. I don't know. That, that's a bit of a chain. I hope we don't have to go there again. Now, another thought I've just had is if this goes 4, 8, 9, is this difficult to fill with the high digits? Not really. I guess if that's 4, 8, 9, this can be 5, 6 or 6, 7, and that becomes 7 or 8. Or even 5, actually. So that's not, it's not a profitable line. OK, let's think again. One of these is an 8. Whichever one is an 8. This goes 8, 7, 6. Ah! Yes, whichever one of these is an 8. This goes 8, 7, 6. So one of those is a 6. And therefore these two can't be 6s. And that means these two can't be 2s. That hasn't quite resolved the pairs, but... That was surprising. So if this is 4, 
eight. That's a four. Those are a bit unconstrained as two, six. If that's six, two, I don't know. Oh, oh no, look, two, eight pair in the row. Simple enough, that's a six. Wow, have we got the same down here? No, how bizarre. Okay, never mind. This can't be a three, but I don't know whether this goes up or down. But this is two, four or eight now. Now we've got an X-wing on fours in, oh, we have got an X-wing on fours in column one and nine. The only places fours can be are in the cells I've just highlighted. Therefore, there are two fours in those cells. Don't know whether they're in that diagonal facing pair or that one, but this can't be a four anymore. And that is a six because the four in row one must be at the beginning or end of it. So that's a six. This is two. We now know that these are eight and four, and that means, oh, it doesn't disambiguate these two, they are a two six pair, these are a four eight pair, this one becomes six as well. Oh, that's a surprise, I thought they were going to be different, but they're not. Right, one of them go. this can't be three, one of these goes up to eight, and one of them goes down to four. So these are a five, seven pair. And all that means is that those two can't be five or seven. Does it mean anything else? Oh, look, this is a two. Yes, that means that. Six there. This can't be six anymore. This, is, oops, this has got a bit tighter now. This is I six, seven, eight. That is possible. Or seven, eight, nine, either way round. Oh, this is eight as well. Ah, now, how's the four, eight, nine possibility doing? Then this has to be six, seven, and that has to be eight. That can't be eight anymore. Right, this can't go four, eight, nine, or six, seven would require an eight there. Right, so that's four, two, one. This is nine and eight. Don't tell me that does nothing else. Oh, this can't be eight. Honestly, it might be struggling to be high now. Let's see. Oh, th oh, this has become four because of that eight. Right, let's just do ordinary stuff. Two there. That four makes this an eight with a seven here. That's four. That's eight. All the blue cells I've actually filled in, or that I've colored a blue, are now filled in extraordinarily and it still hasn't resolved this thing this has become odd seven or nine so that's even and is eight and this is odd and is seven or nine they are indeed a pair obviously that is five or six but it's odd so it's five. Oh, it couldn't have been six for the reason it's odd. Okay, this is a seven nine pair. Oh yes, I haven't filled these in. That's a three five pair. We get one down here. That's not one. Oh, let's just use what we've achieved. One and three there. We get nine on the diagonal. Um, five is down in one of those cells. Those are from one, that is one or seven and that's one seven or nine. Okay, I still need five, three, four, eight, seven. Oh, we can place one down here and two and six. Lovely. Right, that six has got to be doing some work. This can't be a seven anymore because it would need six or eight there. So that's a two. This is three. That's one. Don't think, I think we are just going to, are we going to, ooh, don't do that. Are we going to um, get towards the end? He said, desperately, that's a seven. Five there, so we can do these central cells. Five and three, that box is done. We've got six to put in and a seven, nine pair. Uh, what's going on up the left? Three, seven or nine, nothing useful. Those can't be ones, so one in the column is there. This is a five, nine pair. 
And look, that's a sort of X-wing. Nines appear in one of those two cells and in one of those two cells. That uses up the nines for rows eight and nine, and we get a seven there. That gives us a nine up here. We get a, oh no. Oh no, something's gone wrong at this stage. And I have no idea where that's gone wrong. Oh no. It's gone wrong before that. It was so good. It was going so well. Maybe it was with this triple. Is there any chance of that? One, two, six. Maybe this pencil marking was rubbish. Two, three, five, and seven. Well, look, we've had all the, that has to be odd. So that has to be even and has to be two. I think that's what we did make it. One there, because it can't be a three. Three there, that becomes a three. But this has become a three and there's nowhere for three in the first column. Wow, what went wrong with that? The painful thing is, I thought every step was fine there. There wasn't one where I was thinking, well, I think that's right, we'll come back to it if it's wrong. So what did I do wrong? Okay, what? This is a step I wouldn't normally do. I'm going to just see how we would finish off now. That can't be a three. So these are from 195. Let's try and ignore the threes problem that I've come across, I mean, which probably cannot be ignored, but let's see, let's see what we would do for everything else. We've got three there, that has to be five, that has to be seven, that's at five. The trouble is you cannot really finish something off assuming there's a wrong thing in it because it just throws everything. Um, five, seven, that would be a nine and we'd get four and five. And I mean, that's probably where the problem is gonna rear its ugly head again. One, eight, two, we've got a three, seven pair there. That's a one. And so much of this looks so right. That's now not a one, so this is a one next to it. This is the cell that has no possible fill. So let's, let's carry on as though it did have a fill. And I don't know how we can ever fix that if it's right that it doesn't. Um, well, it's obviously not right that it doesn't, but even using that assumption seems to be laden with problems. But anyway, seven, that's a nine. We've got an eight, three pair that can be filled in there. This. That is the problem, is that I've read that white dot as a black dot. Okay, okay, it's a long video now, but we're gonna go all the way back to that. Six, three on a white dot, wow. I mean, if you've been shouting that at me, you are right, and I'm a doofus, and let's go back, look how far back that unwound. Oh, 
See, there's a part of that conclusion that's still right. And it might just be the numbers. I might have been able to fix these numbers by swapping 5 and 3 in row 7, which is absurd, but look how far back this is. Right. Now here, I filled this in as a 6. That's fine. But this is not 3. This is 5 or 7. Now, what were the next steps? Right, these were all orange. That's good. This is one on, let's see if we can recreate this with what we learned. One or nine, they're blue. Oh, okay, sorry about this, guys. Right, now, this isn't so constrained at all with by that not being a three, so that could be a problem soon. But anyway, what did we learn? We learned that we were using these pairs somehow. So one of these, one of these is a four, that's right. So one of these is an eight. So these aren't eight, they are two or six. Now they run up two, three, four, six, five, four, six, seven, eight. They make four, eight pair in the middle row. That's still good. Oh, this is a mess, isn't it? I'm so sorry. Right. Two, six, four there. Um... Right, come on, think again. What what did we do here? We we had that two six pair and they have to be do they have to be no, they could be the same. In fact, they are the same, otherwise these are both eights in a set of four. They can't be the same. So these are the same, and they can't both be twos, or they would both be fours. So those are sixes. Oops. Six. And these aren't threes. They are a five, seven pair running up in one case and down in the other to a four, eight. These are now two and eight opposite four and six. That is two, four or eight, which doesn't feel useful. Um, that's not a six now, so that's not a two. We've got a four, six pair in the box and a two, eight pair. Now something was fairly, fairly obvious here, wasn't it? Was it? This is two, four or eight, and that is therefore eight, four or six. So we've got the four blues down the final column. So they're all orange. Now, what did I do next, and is it still good? Um, it wasn't to do with this yet, I don't think. Is it to do with that they can't both be blue? Probably not. That's a 5-7 pair, so these are from 1, 3 and 9. I did write that in, but it wasn't that helpful. We still don't know what that pair actually is. Some some way it suddenly became clear, didn't it? Oh, we had a four X-wing up the columns one and nine. Yes, that four X-wing still applies, making that one a six. Okay, so now we're good. We're golden. We're we're away with those digits. We've got the six two eight four set there. Six two. Oh, it's, I mean, I can I can get excited about this all over again. Believe me. Um, that's become a four, so four, five, six there, eight, seven, six there. Oh, I've still got the same problem. I've treated the white dot exactly the same the other side. So everything I've been doing has been total nonsense. That's the problem. Oh, I hate myself. There we go. Total fail on this puzzle. Sorry, score. Oh, well, should we go back again, try it again? I mean, I'm probably going to have to discover other things now. Go on, let's do it, let's do it.
right, that is not blue. That That is fine being orange. Well, that was because that became a four, and that was all right. It's this. This is three, five, or seven. This is orange. And I was treating it as blue and colouring everything. It's amazing how far it got when that's wrong. Oh, this is three, five, or seven as well. So we've got a three, five, seven triple and a four, six pair. Right. These are from one, two, eight, and nine. So this can't go two, three, four. So that can't be a two. Same down here. Could go nine, eight, seven, or eight, seven, six, or one, two, three. This is all a bit different, isn't it? So that's the same down here. Two, seven, eight, three, six, or seven there. Now still, we've got the issue. One of these is a four, so one of these is an eight. Uh, therefore, these, which can't be fours, also can't be eights. So they are two and six. This is still working. These are still going to come to a four-eight pair in the middle row. And we've still, for what it's worth, it is worth something. We've got that four X-wing. Oh, no, we haven't, because that's not even now. Not necessarily, anyway. Ah, right, okay. But it was all bogus, because you can't read the colour of a dot. Right. Um, two, six, or eight there. Two, six, or four there. Okay, maybe we need to think about these two runs of three. Oh, well, one of these is a two. I don't know, that feels surprising. Whichever one is a two is not on a one, two, three run. So one of these runs is high and involves eight and seven. Maybe both of them. Can they both be high? Where would eight go? It would have to go, it couldn't go in those positions because you couldn't get an eight in there and it couldn't go in those two positions because they would clash. So if these were both high involving an eight, they could go in offset positions, in which case you would have a nine eight pair here. That would be a an eight seven pair. This would be a seven six pair. Just need to try and keep thinking clearly so that we don't lose the progress we've made. Um, smaller as it was than I realised. Um, so we've. These are sort of eight. It's not a real X Wing, unfortunately. But one of these. Oh, that's interesting. One of these does go 8, 7, 6, either this side or that side. And whichever side that happens, this is a 2. So these are never 2s, and therefore these are never 6s. These have to be, we've worked out actually, these have to be the same. I don't think they can be different, because if they were different, neither of these could be a two, and one of them has to be. Ah, one of these has to be a two, so these can't be twos, that's simpler. Wow, okay, so they're six, they're both sixes. Right, now there is no three here, seem to have been here before. This either goes six, seven, eight, or six, five, four, and that goes the other way. Right, come on, come on, that's two, four, or eight. Sixes. That's not a six, so this is a two, eight pair. 
which we kind of knew anyway. This is either 2, 6, right, or the other way around. Now, is that 2 or 8? Probably. It would be quite nice and symmetrical, but... Come on, what have we learned from this? This is a bit different now. So in one case, this goes six, seven, eight, and then two there. If that was here, six, seven, eight, two there, that would be four making this 6 and that 2. And that's not possible, because then those two would be the same, and they're in a set of 4 that have to be different. So this doesn't go 6, 7, 8. This goes 6, 5, 4. We get an 8 there. This is the one that goes 6, 7, 8. 2 there, 4 away from that one is 6, which gives us 4 and 8 in the original set of 4. Right, now, let's see how we're doing on blues this time. Haven't got those done. Haven't really thought about these yet. Right, but this can't be a six. So that's not a seven and that's not an eight. Oh, it doesn't apply down here. This, okay, this is nine and seven around. Those, three and five around. Those, this is a one. This is now four, eight and nine on the diagonal. And we've got one, three around those, five, seven around those. That can't be an eight. Two, eight, seven, six. Three, five, or nine there. Let's keep. Oh, look, we've got a bit of colouring in box two that I hadn't noticed. Blue there. And a two, eight pair in column. column six. Where does 6 go in column 6? It goes here. It's the only place it can be now. And in column 4, it must be here. Yes. Um, now, this can't be 6, and that can't be 7, and that can't be 8. These can't be the same. Therefore, one of these pairs is 2, 3, and the other is 7, 8. Wherever it's 7, 8, we've got 1, 2 here. Say that was 7, 8, 1, 2, 4, 6. Then we've got 3, 5, and 9 to place. Oh, no, look, let's use that 1, 9 pair. Oh, right, this is a naked single. It's seeing this one at the top. It's seeing that 1, 9 pair and 2 in the corner. That's an 8. So this is a 2. Both are blue. That's an 8 now. Yes, 9, 7. Let's keep the colouring going. Maybe it was because I stopped the colouring last time. I got punished. It certainly wasn't because I made the mistake before I stopped the colouring. Um, now, 8 and 7 there. So this is now a 2. 1, 9, 8. That's a 2, 3, 1. Wow, OK. Maybe we're getting there correctly this time. That can't be a 7. Oh, this can't be a 3 or a 5. So that is a 7. Got one and five to place in those cells. That one can go orange. This one can also go orange. And is five or nine, as it can see, one, seven, and three. Right, now we just need to be calm. Right. One of these uses a 7, so there's a 7-6 pair, oh, I don't know, and a 4, no, I don't know, that can't be 7. Right, the 7 in the middle row is here, middle column is here, 7-6, that's a 4. Now I don't know whether that's 3 or 5, but also that can't be 1, so the 1 is here. There's a 3-5 pair, those are from 179, I seem to remember putting that in before. That's a nine, that's a five, that's not a four, that's not a nine, that is a nice blue four. 
where I thought it was going to be in both previous versions, but I hadn't proved it correctly. 429836, so we've got from 1, 5, and 7 up there. Um, 4 is here. And, ooh. No, I can't get the color right. Let's do it correctly. There we go. No. <laughs> Let's try again with the color. Four is blue. There we go. Um, that could still be eight. Six, four, seven, eight. Two, no, eight, no. Oh, come on. This must be doable now. Six, eight, nine. Some, something has become very clear. Well, I'm an idiot. That's become very clear. Never mind about that conclusion. Um, I can't see what has become clear. That 3-5 pair is not resolved by that white dot. I think we've used all the dots now, and we've used the line, so... <laughs> rest is Sudoku. Oh, come on, Mark. Regroup again. There's a 7 here. There's an 8 here. There's a 4 here. I don't see how any of this is going to help. Um, 4, 6, 2... Some, somewhere something huge is shouting at me. That can't be 5, so one of those is 5. They also can't be... 7 or 1. So that is 3 or 5, is it? It sees a 7, a 1, and a 9. So that's a 3, 5 pair. It doesn't really help. These are from 2, 4, and 7. Oh, that 9 is seeing that. That's what's going on. Right. That probably is going to fix quite a few things. 9 there. So we've got a 1, 7 pair. 2, 4, 6... Maybe it's not. Um, yeah, I do feel I am suffering from the struggles earlier. Don't think I'm on my best game at the moment. Six is in one of those two cells. Um, come on. Let's just keep finding things. One, five, and seven. Yes, there's a 1 in exactly the symmetrical position. So we get a 3 and a 1. That becomes a 5. So we get 3 and 5 down there. This is now a 9. That's a 1. This is about where it all went wrong before. 3 and 8 down there. One of these is a 1. I'm getting a lot of pencil, a lot of corner marks, and not a lot of actual traction in that box. Five and seven, eight and nine. So it must be in these columns. Nine, six, five there. So we've got that can't be a five. That's three or eight. Colouring has stopped helping dramatically, frankly. Um, that's eight or nine. Some sort of another X-Wing. Of course, the four X-Wing that I was so proud of twice was just bobbins. Absolute nonsense. So irritating. Those are from three, four, and nine. I know that. Four, one, nine, eight. Across the middle. How do I know what these are? Come on, we have to finish this. Four one nine eight six five. That's two three or seven. It's so uninteresting as to be painful. That's three three or eight. Can't be nine or four. So we've got a three eight pair there, which feels powerful. Three eight nine six five one or two, but it's not. It gives us this chocolate teapot triple of one two seven. Oh, come on. 
four, we know four is there. Seven, five, four, one, two. Two is in one of those two cells. One, two, what about three? Three is a little bit unconstrained. Three could be in either, oh no, three is now in one of those two cells because of the three, eight pair. One, two, three, four, five, six. That can't be six. Six is definitely one of those. Seven is definitely one of those. So these corner marks are as good as central marks. We've done eight. Did we do nine? No, this one I'm in could still be nine. That's not a seven. Oh, it's not a three either. Oh. Yeah, brain really is scrambled here, but let's let's get it done. Eight and nine there, that must help getting an offset number on the diagonal, especially three there. That makes this eight and nine. Three there, that's not a nine. That's an annoying quadruple now, but this doesn't have a nine. That eight looks down here at eight and three. That fixes three and four. That fixes four and two. Nine there, six there, two and five there, but three has fixed five and three, which does both five and three there, and two and five here. Um, one, six, seven, and two there, seven here. That does well, five and seven have been done for a while. Wow, that puzzle has beaten me up. Please look if I if I promise to colour in the remaining odds and evens, will you not be too nasty to me in the comments, even if I deserve it? Wow, it's I'm literally well, I mean it was the same thing in both of these pairs, not understanding for some reason thinking suddenly that they were both black dots, and it threw me for a loop. Wow. Anyway, sorry score. Watch that considerably. It's an hour long video for what should have been a half hour puzzle. It's a really clever puzzle, by the way. I mean, it's a really clever puzzle, but that wasn't a great solve of it. <sighs> Let's hope we can do better tomorrow when the veil is at its thinnest. And I shall see you then. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.